Hello and welcome to this ZenWorks Highlights on ZCC Auditing. This video will highlight the ZenWorks Auditing introduced in ZCM11 SP3 that allows administrators to see what adds, modifications, and deletions were made to objects in the database via the ZenWorks Control Center. There are various settings in ZCC to configure. The two types of events are change events, which is events that are posted against the ZenWorks system, and agent events, which are events against managed devices. Many advantages to leveraging the audit database for reporting against changes in the ZenWorks system and against managed devices, users, and ZCC admins. Reporting on object change events in the ZenWorks system includes policies, bundles, credential vault, roles registration, system update, inventory licensing, etc. Reporting on object change events on managed devices, users, and ZCC admins include remote management, user login, intruder detection, and ZenWorks adaptive agent device location or network changes, and even removable storage. Some logging of audits can be found in the loader messages log, and ZCC activity is recorded in the ZCC log. This auditing system is to see who changed what in ZCC. This is not NAGs or prompts for expiration notices like certificates and licensing. For instance, auditing will report on ZCC changes to the certificate object that are reminted, restored, or generate a CSR, but auditing will not report on the certificate NAG when the expiration date has 90 days left. Auditing doesn't pick this up. You can use the ZenWorks reporting service for those types of reports or run queries against the database directly. Remember, modification to objects via Zman commands are not audited. Let's have a walkthrough. We'll log in. Let's go to our configuration. Under Audit Management, Events Configuration, we currently have user sources configured. If we wanted to add more, we could then select different areas that we may want to report on. For instance, if devices come in or created or modified, we may want to know that. If we have bundles that are modified or moved or even uh, sandboxes that are published, we may want to report on that. There's a variety of different areas we can audit. Let's select those for now. We'll say one, one day to keep in our example. You can also see administrators as super administrators. If uh, an administrator was modified or created or deleted or even renamed. So we have one day set and we'll apply this. Some of the other things you can set are sending an SNMP trap, uh, send an email message, uh, and logging to local file if necessary. Now that we have those set, we also have agent events. Some of the agent events we can have are users logged in, users logged out, and users failed. Uh, change password event. Uh, if your device moves to different locations, this might be handy. If you're monitoring to see how much remote control is being done by, by ZenWorks administrators or any of these particular remote management functions. Intruder detection. We'll also set this as a one day. Select apply.
And if you wanted to remove, let's say, user management, auditing, you can then just highlight those items, hit delete. They will then go back into this list here under user management. Now let's log out and log in as Elmer. Elmer has rights to bundles. He's going to go create a new bundle. Should be a Windows bundle. It's an empty bundle. Make this real quick. Okay. Now let's say Elmer wants to modify something on that bundle. So let's say And we have a sandbox. We're going to go ahead and publish it. Now let's see if Elmer has rights to administrators. You can see he does not. Let's log out. Let's log in as administrator. Let's go to Configuration, Administrators. Edit, rename this particular administrator, ZCC Admin 1 to ZCC Admin Global. Now if we go to our dashboard, we can then see that we had some ZCC logins, administrator was renamed, bundle was modified, sandbox was published for events by administrators. See this is the top 10 devices. If we went and looked at the ZCC login, we can see that Elmer logged in and the administrator logged in and the date and timestamp. This gives us a bird's eye view of the different errors in different locations. Administrator was renamed. If I select that, we can then see that initiator was administrator and renamed ZCC Admin 1 to ZC Admin Global. If we go to our bundles, see there was one modified. That particular bundle was test bundle from the description was from nothing to test bundle for nothing. We could see that it was also published. So as you can see, this is a very handy utility to monitor what's going on on the system. And very quickly can we assess what has happened on particular objects in the database. For additional information and help on event logging, you can go to documentation here or the current page and this will show you dashboard view and events views and different settings you can set. This concludes the ZenWorks highlights on ZenWorks auditing. <music>